I'm Anil Kumar and now let us understand how to find the number of solutions for a linear system. Both equations in a linear system are written in the form ax plus by equals to c. Explain how could you predict the number of solutions using the coefficients and constants of the two equations. So a and b are the coefficients of x and y and c is the constant. Let's take an example to start with and we'll also graph approximately the line and then verify the solutions. So let's take a simple example. Let us say we have 2x plus y equals to let us say 6. Now to sketch this line, we can find x and y intercepts. y intercept is when x is 0. Let us say it is somewhere here as 6. And x intercept is when y is 0. That will give us 6 divided by 2 as 3. So let us say here, right? So we can draw this line kind of like this. Now, we'll say this point is 6 as the y intercept and here we have plus 3 as the x-intercept. Let's say one of the equations is like this. And now let us have another equation in which we will multiply each number, coefficients and the constant by the same thing. Let us say we times the whole equation by 2. If I times the whole equation by 2, what do I get? I get 4x plus 2y equals to 12. Now if you analyze this line, what is the x-intercept? y0, that means this term is 0, 12 divided by 4 will give us 3. Same, do you see that? Same x-intercept. Now, if I place x as 0, then we get 2y equals to 12 or y equals to 12 divided by 2 which is 6. So what we have is exactly same line. Do you see? That means your that blue line is exactly same. It overlaps. Do you see that? So if it overlaps then what happens? How many solutions do you get? Well we get infinite solutions. Do you see that? Many solutions. Many. So let's say number of solutions. Is that okay? Now let's take another example and this time we are going to multiply only the coefficients by a number and not the constant. So, so we'll multiply coefficients by 2. So we get next equation as 4x plus 2y equals to 6. So we are multiplying only these two numbers by 2, not 6. In that case, what are x and y intercepts? Now, x intercept will be, if y is 0, 6 divided by 4 or 3 by 2, right? 3 by 2 is 1.5, so it is kind of here. As far as the y coefficient is concerned, it will be, y intercept will be, when x is 0, 6 divided by 2 as 3, correct? So it will be here. So this line, if I join these two points and get a line, in that case, you'll find that this line is parallel to the previous line. Since it is parallel, we do not have any solutions. So the number of solutions are none. So these are two special cases. Now that gives you a clue that if we are given line in the form of ax plus by plus c, let me write down ax plus by equals to c, then if I times every number means both coefficients and the constant by a number, let's say if I times it by n, then we have infinite solutions because they are 
coincident lines. On the graph, they're exactly same lines. Do you see that? But if I multiply only the coefficients, that is to say, if I have equation ax plus by equals to c, and if I multiply both a and b by same number, let us say that number is n, but not c, in that case, I get parallel lines. And parallel lines means none, point of intersection, right, no solution, right. And if we do not do that, but if you multiply A, B and C by different numbers, all other cases, except for these two cases, what do you expect? For other cases, right, all other cases, we have one solution. Correct? Since then, the lines will not be parallel they will not be coincident, so they may just cross at any point, right? So they will intersect at only one point, right? So that is kind of important to understand. So if the equation is a multiple of the other equation, in that case, both are representing the same equation and there are infinite number of solutions. However, if the coefficients are multiple of one another but not the constant part then they are parallel lines and no solutions and in all other cases the lines are not parallel they are not coincident and they will always intersect at one point so that is how we can explain it thank you